is Omnan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen easily. So basically, it's very easy. Just have to open any browser and just go to a website called obsproject.com. Now, when you go to this website, you'll get two options. One is for get OBS Studio, another is get OBS Classic. Now you gotta choose select the OBS Studio option. Now depending on whatever the operating system install, if you have Windows, just select the Windows, Mac if you have, then select the Macs and for same goes to the Linux. Now for me, as I have you know Windows installed in my system, I'll select Windows and I'll uh, select Windows. Basically when you select Windows, it will start downloading the software. I don't remember the size of this application, maybe 70 or 80 or MB. After you have you know downloaded the application, just go to the download section or where you have downloaded and just you know run the software application and just normally install it now the thing is whenever you have installed this application you'll get two options like obs 64 uh, bit for whatever is present on my desktop and another option you'll get is for 32 bit now depending on whatever windows you're on if you're on windows 32 bit just run the windows 32 bit application for the obs studio as i'm on windows 64 bit i have this option for obs studio 64 bit basically it will give you the option for both running 32 bit and 64 bit you gotta select depending on whatever windows i have installed now i will show you the interface of this application so this is basically the interface of this application so right now i'm recording the screen so that's why this you know pop-up is there so basically whenever for, for the first time you have opened this application you will basically get to see these tabs like file edit view profiles in collection and help and below these are the option for scene source mixer scene transitions and stuff for this are the options where you will be interested into so for the sense as you can see in the scene one it's recording my screen and the scene two it will be you know for scene two it's a video capture so i'll basically uh whenever you for the first time you will open this uh, software in the scene it will be blank so basically you want to uh, click this add option and right now we'll, uh, you know add in front of what this demo demo double one so after i uh, you know select this demo double one so it will be blank so basically i will select the same one so that's it so that's why uh, that's how you you know, select how the sense works so basically as you can see in the scene one uh, you know my screen is being recorded and after you select the scene you have to put a source like you can as you can see in the scene one the source is the display capture now the display capture is whatever you you know whatever is going on through your desktop everything will be recorded via the display capture and in the scene two as you can see in the scene two it's a video capture device hi guys as you can see it's uh, you know picking up the video capture device in the picking up the you know picking up image of me uh, with the help of this webcam i have in my laptop and so that's it so uh, for the for this uh, so whatever the scene you have selected you have just go to this click little add option you'll get different bunch of options like display capture window captures so the display capture is basically so everything whatever is going through your desktop everything will be recording now the window capture is for if you want to record a particular screen or if you want to go to a particular screen uh, so that will be recorded by this window capture also there is a interesting option for recording your gameplay so if you want to record your gameplay so you can do that via this option gameplay option so just you have to click this game capture and you just normally play the game and everything will be recorded so this is the option so after basically selecting the scene you have to select the source from where the everything will be picked up now the next option is for audio capturing so basically this is the option for mix up as you can see right now i'm recording the screen so whatever the there will be two options the first option is desktop audio and the second option will be mic or the aux now the desktop audio so whenever you the recording the screen or display capture option is enabled now the desktop audio is uh, if you you know run any application the application sound or if the desktop gives any pop up notification everything will be pick up you now picked up by the desktop you know desktop whatever the sound any application is giving everything will be picked up and the interesting one is this mic off so right now i have as you can saw on the webcam that i have connected with my dedicated headset you no know, platronics one so if you don't have any headset it will 
by default it will just you know pick up the uh, default microphone laptop microphone so for me it's as you can you can go to the settings and pick around as you can see uh, just go to the properties and as you can see for me it's selected headset microphone platronics d 80 so this is the uh, dedicated headset i am using for recording this video also you can you know select microphone real tech high definition audio driver for that it will use the laptop microphone so these are the option for you know where the audio will be picked up so it basically gives you the flexibility from where you want to record your audio and last is the scene transition so this is not basically an important option so basically uh, for how much time duration you want your video to be faded and stuff so video editing and effects kind of stuff so there and uh, at last you get this option start streaming stop recording studio mode settings and exit for me it is giving the stop recording as I'm already started recording this video so it's giving me this option for the stop recording and the main advantage you have have with this software is that you can also live stream so basically these are the option present in this applications it's a uh, uh, no the learning curve is a bit difficult but once you start using this software you get to know everything and the and the best thing I like about this software is that I know there are different software for recording screen present in the internet but you know every other software there are one or other restriction present like it will give you for how much time maximum you can record your video for 15 minutes maximum you can record your video after that you know you have to buy the paid version of stuffs and for some other application it will give you a pop-up watermark or stuffs will be present on your video so for this particular application nothing sort of that is present so this is basically a complete free software you can download it by going to obsproject.com i'll leaving the link of this in a particular uh, software in the video description so make sure to check that out and so that's it in this video i've just explained how to if you want to record your screen so how to do that so if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and for more video like this you can also subscribe to my channel thank you for watching